I don't know if we would have known if you hadn't done that. Like, I don't know how far long it would have taken, but I got that call and I just started, I, I mobilized the troops. <laughs> what, what I messed That's up awesome. on was walking by the suspect who was being detained by Worski. I should have started yelling, what? I didn't even tell her that she doesn't have to take a field sobriety test. I didn't even tell her that she shouldn't take the breathalyzer. <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot that. <laughs> Hey, I saw some of the video. What was Oborski saying to you before he yeah, uh, started oh, roughing no, you up a little bit? Okay, it looks like he was clear. roughing so, you up. So, Hold so, on, let me start recording real quick. Yeah. We saw, we saw the cop Oborski pull over. Well, we didn't even see him pull over. We just saw lights and we're driving by. So I pulled off, dropped off Carla and Billy behind the vehicle. And then me and Sarah cut up in front, parked on a side street. And we came up and we walked up. I was probably... I don't know, I was maybe 30 feet, you were 45 yeah, feet we were away. away. You know, so I, I was maybe 30 feet, she was 45 feet away, maybe I was 25 feet away. Um, and I'm filming, all of a sudden, Borsi turns the light towards me and then goes over to the loudspeaker. Oh, yeah. Beeler, back up! I'm like, okay. And he's like, back up now. I'm like, how far do you want me to back up? He goes, keep walking until I say stop. And I'm like, okay. So I backed up 10 feet and I stopped. And then, uh, he didn't say anything else, and we're just sitting there filming, and then Johnson rolls up, and he immediately marches over, and he starts barking orders, you know, you need, you know, get over there right now. And he was telling us to get over on the back side of the, the he, he squad car. He didn't have a location for us yeah. to go. He just kept, kept telling yeah. us to back up, and he almost backed us up into the street. Well, it's a trap. But, but, but he did also say, go over there where the air ones are, and I'm like, Oh, yeah. Walk right by the suspect and the right, cop. Exactly, or walk on. <laughs> and, and, I, and I was like, I'm backing up. I'm moving back away. And we moved back. We were probably 35 yards away, we like away. over 100 feet away. You know, when he finally arrested us for interference. You know, and, and uh, he said, you have two choices: leave now or go over there. I said, okay, we're leaving. And I was still backing up, and then he arrested us. He arrested you right before you hit the street. But you can't go in the street. They can arrest you. I mean, it's a trick. <laughs> so I was trying to like curve around the corner, so I was basically cornered. They cornered so us. How did you get arrested? What, what, uh, what happened? I will. I will, once you started getting arrested, I started filming, started narrating what was going on, and then that's when Johnson came. It was like, I mean, it's <laughs> interference of public duty is what they claim that we did. But we were we were 35 yards away from the suspect and the cop. We clearly weren't interfering with anything. And Johnson didn't need, I don't know how we were interfering with his job, he didn't have a job. <laughs> Did you talk believe this is in retaliation for all the activism you've been doing, especially especially since this was a stop that Oborski was involved yeah. in, and, and Johnson, who was the supervisor? Yeah. So it's Oborski and Johnson. We were they had, riding together in the car? No, they had different cars. There were three police vehicles that came up all together. Yeah. Was the other one was, uh, was um, his name was What's Holmes. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and they pursued us. They came up to us. So y'all never talked to them. Y'all never engaged. Well, once they engaged us, we talked. Y'all we, talked. We, we only responded. Y'all spoke only when yeah. spoken to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we we didn't do anything aggressive. We didn't initiate anything. All we were doing was filming. We we're exercising our First Amendment rights. And these cops, they hate transparency. And all they want to do is shut us down, make us quiet, and turn the cameras off. They don't want to be exposed. They don't want a Borski exposed the next time that he assaults someone or files false charges. And Johnson is clearly the, the guy who has been covering up for him, and he's one of the guys who has the most to lose when a Borski goes down. Did he give you a warning for the rest of you? I didn't get a warning. I, just... I didn't get read my my rights, and I did not get a charge. You don't get okay. right to read your rights. Right. Yeah, you don't get when was the first time you heard a charge? Yeah, we were backing up when the charge. Uh, well, no, the uh, one thing he told us to when do you're already in custody. was to yeah. go to the other side of the cop car, which would have necessitated us getting much closer to the suspect and the officer. Yeah. We would have had to get within the, five yeah, it feet. It was either the sidewalk or it was the street. So you where didn't do that because you thought it would make you closer, right? <laughs> So you didn't do that. If you can drive, drive away, Kaya, drive away. Drive away, Kaya. Uh, 